Okay, so now uh, I I went through somehow I went through the using the box uh, materials how you can change it or uh, do different things. I don't want to go through the um, the drawing the cylinders or uh, the cone. These are basically the same. You have some property that you have to change. Um, one of the things that you can find it useful is drawing the bond wire, and for the bond wire, you can uh, basically say um, what type of the bond wire you are trying to model and uh, how long the bond wire is. So I'm going to go ahead and select the first point of the bond wire and then the second point and then the type of the bond wire. So the first point was the origin of my, my workspace and the second point is going to be somewhere away uh, like uh, 5 to 10 millimeters away in the Y direction and uh, I'm going to select here so as you can see uh, we have a bond wire that uh, is visible here uh, I will zoom in once I finished the design so the bond wire gives you more options than um, the other primitive materials and the bond wire um, uh, property dialog box you have two uh, basically three types of bond wires but two of them are more important you have the four point or you have the GDEC five points um, the five point bond wires are um, for the longer distances and you can see that you have uh, basically five uh, pieces for your bond wire but I, I think the four point uh, bond wire is pretty much uh, what you will see in most of the designs uh, the number of face cannot be lower than three and uh, you can you can reduce it to three but then it cannot go beyond three um, and you can increase it for a higher accuracy but it will like uh, definitely uh, take a lot of power uh, calculation uh, resources from your uh, computer um, obviously if you have more number of bond wires let's say you have a 44 pin or 80 pin uh, chip then you will have you know 80 bond by bond wires and then if you put the number of faces you know 30 for each then you will get into a huge problem for the meshing and for the computation or calculations and your simulation times will go like astron astronomically high so uh, long story short uh, I think uh, be wise on selecting the number of faces uh, because after that you want to just copy and paste this one buyers with the pad and the rest so I'm gonna go with like um, nine probably that's that's not a bad idea to do that the diameters of the uh, the, the the wire uh, is something that you can select here but I think 25 a micrometer is 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 a good is a good uh, dimension diameters uh, for for many wire bonders so you can actually uh, trust that the h1 is as you can see is the distance the height from the the peak uh, the, the the peak leap of the uh, uh, bond wire and the first pad and the H2 is the distance from the first pad and uh, the height from the first pad to the second pad so this is the second pad the actual pad on the PCB that you're you know uh, doing the wire bond and this is the first pad sometimes uh, you have uh, a different uh, sorry sometimes you have a different h2 and that means that uh, you know sometimes here is your is your chip and here is your uh, case of your uh, what do you call it um, the package so the package basically is higher and the chip is in the middle of that so if you don't if you don't put the, if you don't wire on the chip um, on top of the PCB the chip would not be here the chip is here uh, so what I'm trying to say is sometimes the chip is lower than the, the, the second place that you are wire bonding to sometimes it's higher 
if you are just putting the chip on top of a PCB, then the chip is a loose die that you put it on the PCB. Then when you wire bond, you wire bond to a lower uh, altitude or, or height. When you have a package, though, on the other hand, you are in the middle of the package, you put your chip, and then you have to wire bond it to the top part where the pins are, and then your chip is lower than the place that you are, uh, your destination of the wire bond. So this H1 and H2, you have to basically look at it in this way. Um, for the for the for our case, I'm I'm just thinking that the the chip and the the die has no um, height. I mean, I'm just not considering the height of the die, and um, or you can say I'm considering it as just like the pad that I'm having, and therefore uh, the you know. Uh, the H2 is zero. These are the same surfaces. It's not a bad, it's not a bad uh, assumption. Okay, I'm gonna press OK here, and uh, now you can see that the wire bonder. Um, we have now we can see that we have a wire bond here. Uh, if I zoom in, you can see the wire bond. Uh, but the the material of the wire bond right now, because the material by default is vacuum it's all vacuum so you can actually change it to whatever you want I'm gonna go ahead and select the assign materials and uh, search for the word copper so the copper is here and uh, actually that's not true most of the wire bonds actually are gold so I'm gonna go search for gold and there we go gold is one of those materials that can stick to any <coughs> other materials whether it's aluminium or uh, copper or you know uh, the um, in soldering material, uh, whatever it is, it will work on that. So then, uh, most of the times, you will see that the wire bonders are gold. And since we are in that subject, um, we can leave the name uh, bond wire one. Uh, the material is gold, and therefore the color would be gold. And uh, I'm not going to give it any transparency. So there we go. So now you can see that it's it's my golden fiber, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make another pad. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna double click on the top, and I'm gonna rotate this fellow like this, and then I'm gonna use the hand, and then go ahead and use my mouse wheel to select to come here, and. Uh, Lastly, I'm going to go ahead and have another pad for that. Uh, note that the pad that we have on the PCB is much larger than the pad that we have on the IC. So uh, this pad is going to be much larger in size, uh, probably one millimeter by one millimeter or, or something like that. So we have the pad here and I'm going to go ahead and give it a, a height. Uh, I think 100 micrometers of height is uh, relevantly good and uh, material uh, I'm gonna go ahead I forgot what is the the solder uh, material is uh, what is it um, uh, I think I'm wasting time here. Um, the soldering material is. Uh, come on. I think it's brown. Other. There we go. And that was simple. Okay, so just say search solder, and there we go. You have the solder material, and uh, you want to change the name to the PCB pad, and uh, the color would be grayish like this. That's good enough, and uh, the transparency is the same. Okay. That's good. And now, if I zoom 
out I should be able to to see what I have as my design so far and I can actually move it a bit okay that looks like that's look like a good design uh, also I wouldn't mind if I put the green color of this a bit more make it less transparent there we go so uh, this is so far our design for the first part I'm gonna go ahead and design the rest of this uh, in the next phase of the tutorial.